You can create custom fault frequencies for labeling peaks on your charts. These user-defined fault markers are available in a range of shapes and colors so that you can create visually distinct labels for peaks and harmonics. To place a fault frequency marker directly on a chart, double-click a peak to make the cursor jump to the top. Now press Ctrl plus M. The text label shows the frequency of this peak. To edit this fault frequency, double-click the label to open the fault frequency editor. You can also open this editor by right-clicking a point in the navigator tree and selecting New Fault Frequency. Enter a description for your fault frequency here. If you placed a marker directly on the chart, the peak frequency will already be displayed and you can use this as the description. This description will display above the fault frequency markers when they are plotted on the chart. The fundamental frequency can be entered as either Hertz or CPM depending on the unit preference you've selected for your recordings. Alternatively, you can specify the frequency in orders. Next, choose whether you want to display sidebands by ticking the box. Enter the sideband frequency and select your unit preference. If you select the Visible option, this fault frequency marker will automatically display when you plot any recording from any location on this point. This is because a fault frequency is always associated with a point rather than a specific recording. If Visible is not selected, your fault frequency markers will be hidden until you choose to display them by pressing F5 or F6. You can hide overlapping markers by selecting Hide when markers overlap. This will avoid clustering too many markers close together on charts. When this option is selected, you can still display any hidden fault frequencies by pressing F5 or F6, which will cycle through all the bearing, gear and custom fault frequencies to find on this point. Now choose a colored marker. You can accept the default marker, which is already highlighted, or choose a new one with the mouse, then click OK. Your new marker will sit above the fundamental fault frequency and any orders and harmonics. Sidebands are displayed as arrows using the same color as their parent fault frequency marker. Once a fault frequency has been created, editing it is easy. You simply double-click the label to open the editor. If there are many fault frequencies at a point, you can manage them all in one editor by right-clicking the chart and selecting Fault Frequency Markers List. Use these buttons here to manage your fault frequencies, adding, editing or deleting them or changing the number of orders and sidebands displayed.